Hey, Mark. Hey. Nice hole in one there on 11. Can can you describe the uh, no handed follow through? Well, I guess. <laughs> hold on a sec. Are you ready? No. Okay. Yeah. Describe the no handed follow through and kind of your your reaction to that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it was pretty embarrassing. Um, didn't quite know where the ball was going today. Uh, you know, taking a week off and. Whatever, I just didn't feel as, as spot on, and I think I had let go of the club on about three of the last four shots as well, um, and they all ended up okay. I, don't, I just felt really stuck, and I thought it was gonna be way right of the green. I looked up, it was a perfect one yard draw, and uh, Wyndham actually was like, as soon as I let go of the club, he's like, dude, that better not go in. And sure enough, it landed and trickled in like a putt. And yeah, uh, definitely. I think that's probably gonna end up being one of my favorite hole ones I've ever had. Just just because of the situation and none of them even gave me high fives after so <laughs> <laughs> how many have you had uh that was my ninth did you Your deserve ninth? any high yeah. fives oh. i no absolutely not <laughs> i did not no you know it's you gotta be lucky out here too i hit a lot of good shots that didn't go in today so there you go i'd like to hit one that badly that goes in yeah i mean my misses were good today that's why i shot four under um and they really have been all year. I've kind of taken the left side of the course out of play the whole year and might not always be pretty, but I know it's either going to go where I want or it's going to be right and it's very manageable. So. You've been playing pretty well. Like the last, your last three starts, I think are all top 15 finishes, a couple top fives, I think. Um, what, what is, is that been the difference? Just eliminating one side of the course or what? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think that's part of it. I think I've just taken a lot of ownership over my game this year and, and I've worked hard at it. And when you do that kind of on your own and it becomes so much your own, it, it holds up under pressure and, and confidence just kind of grows from there versus what I was doing for a long time, which is kind of trying to do stuff that isn't inherently me and uniquely me. And I just feel like I'm swinging my swing now more than ever. And uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, confidence comes from that, I think so. When you, uh, when you have let go of the club on those other shots, did they all go right? Like, uh, yeah, for the most part, they're okay. all, they're all right. Th this one, you know, started a little right. It just, it kind of drew back. I guess I, I flipped it right at the end and saved it. Okay. I just was wondering if that was the common miss for you. Yeah. My miss is always right. I get a little ahead of it and, and, you know, get a little stuck. Um, and I'm working on it, but I think it's always going to be my miss and, and I'm, I'm fine with that now. I'm not fighting it anymore. I, I have, I'm done with the left side of the course. I'll, I'll hang out in the middle and on the right. You know, your brother, I think, posted something on Twitter. I, uh, you, I, you knew that was probably going to happen, right? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I deserve it. It was, <laughs> like I said, it was embarrassing. It was fun, but it was embarrassing. It's great, actually. Yeah, yeah. it was. Oh, um, I mean, including like college and, and stuff like that, I would say six out of the nine. This is definitely the first one that I've dropped my club. I, I the previous one I had before this, my eighth was at Baker's Bay, uh, and I had dropped about a hundred beers. So, I, you know, I don't know if I had shoes on. Probably not. Definitely didn't have a shirt. Um, so that one was equally as, you know, shenanigans as this one. But uh, but this one was fun. When you haven't been swinging your swing, was somebody trying to get you to do something that wasn't you or what? Yeah, you know, it's tough because it's like, you know, you're always trying to get better. And so I worked with the coach for a long time and he made me better in so many ways. He taught me so much about golf. Um, but then it got to a certain point where it's kind of like, okay, I, I know what he's had to teach me and now I have to take that information and make it my own, see how I can, how I can, you know, sort of get to some of the positions that he wants me to, but in, in my way with my feels. And so for a while there, when I really wasn't swinging it well, it, it was too much. I was thinking about what he was having me do and not just sort of, you know, having a filter that works, this doesn't sort of thing. Um, so, I mean, it's not, it's no discredit to him. It's just kind of a natural evolution of my golf swing. Um, and, you know, he's, he's made me the player I am today for sure. Um, this is Kevin Kirk, one of my old coaches. and. And I've started seeing a new guy a little bit to try and get some more athleticism. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm mostly just doing my own thing. I'm on the range. You know, I'm taking what they've both kind of told me and then I have a good filter and, and I kind of process it and figure out a few feels that work for me, you know, to kind of translate what they're saying into, into how I'm actually going to operate under the gun, when I'm under pressure, when I'm tired, whatever it may be. So. Okay. All right. All good? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, guys. I'll let you know.